What's going on guys and welcome back. I am super pumped up and super excited to have you here with me today and thank you for joining me. I'm super excited to share this brand new release from the House of Zaharoff with you, but I'm going to need you to do me a favor. I need you to grab yourself a glass of rosé or whatever your favorite beverage of choice is. Adult beverage, it doesn't matter. But I also need you to grab your special someone. Sit back, get cozied up, get cuddled up, relax, and stay tuned because this one is going to be a lot of fun. Cue that intro. <laughs> What's going on my beautiful fragrance family and welcome back to My Two Cents. My name is Brian and this is the show all about boosting your confidence through the art of fragrance becoming a lasting scent memory. Man, I am so pumped up to get into this fragrance with you, but I just want to give a quick shout out to all the new subscribers, man. This family tree is getting huge and thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the family. If this is your first time stopping by, then welcome. And hit that subscribe button down below. Join this amazing family. I would love to have you. Throw me a point of these because it helps this family get bigger and bigger and bigger. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you know when I'm posting new content and drop me some comments below because I love talking to you guys. I really do. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I've been dying to do this episode with you guys, but I knew that a first impression was not enough for this fragrance. Just like I did my review on Frappan and how great that fragrance was and it didn't deserve just a first impression. It deserved a full review, some wear. Same with this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's all day rosé, baby, whiffs and sniffs. All right, I'm fresh out of the shower. I'm fresh home from work. And you know what that means? Oh yeah, I'm spraying this bad boy on. I have been loving wearing this fragrance. I know you've probably been following my scent of the day posts and I haven't worn this. And the reason being is because I didn't want to spoil anything because I'm loving this fragrance. That's a spoiler for you right there. I'm, I'm loving it. Let's go ahead and start breaking this bad boy down. I'll leave the notes right up here for you. Right up top, you're gonna get that Turkish and Bulgarian rose and the rose in this, the absolute is so, so nice. I don't just get the rose, I get some nice sweet ambery touches and some other florals. I know there's jasmine and peony in this and I don't actually like peony. I don't like it in women's fragrances and I really don't like it in men's fragrances, but for some reason, I enjoy it in this fragrance. But there's not just jasmine and peony in this. I get other aromatics. I get yellow, white, pink florals out of this. And, and George, if you watch this, quote me if I'm wrong, but I mean, I'm, I'm getting more than just the rose, jasmine, and peony in this. And, and the aromatics in this are blended so impeccably. Like right into the initial spray, I start getting that frankincense and myrrh and the oud. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this. This is one of the best unisex rose fragrances I've ever smelled. It's not the best rose fragrance I've ever smelled, but it is one of the best unisex rose fragrances. And I have a ton of them, and I've smelled so many of them, but there's something about this fragrance. It's rugged, yet delicate. It's like a hardworking man who's got callous hands and then puts lotion on and makes them a little bit more delicate. It is a perfect blend of roses and florals and sweetness and these really nice animalic resinous touches with that frankincense, myrrh, and oud. And the bourbon vanilla gives it this really nice boozy sweetness. The sweetness in this reminds me of a food, one of my favorite candies. In fact, I just finished off the, a box of them and it's Turkish Delight, Rose Turkish Delight. Yeah, if I could associate a taste to this smell, it would be that. You have a bit of a powdery quality, just like the powdered sugar on top of the Turkish Delight, which also makes me believe that not only is the oud adding a powdery aspect to it, I believe there might be a little bit of iris in this. Again, I could be wrong, but this is what I'm getting. Claude Durr and Mon did a great job blending this. Though I smell a lot of the different notes, they are just blended so very well that they create a feminine yet masculine masterpiece. Like I said, it's rugged and delicate. You have Portrait of a Lady, who, which is a nice, dirty, earthy, herbaceous rose. The rose in this is sweet and bright and masculine, yet feminine. Now my mom has a bottle of this as well. Shout out to you, mom. And so I've been testing this between myself and with her. And what's crazy is the way it smells on my mom compared to the way it smells on me, it's completely different. The deep resins and oud in this definitely pop off my skin. And on my mom's skin, you get a lot more of that really nice powdery, soft, delicate rose. 
Though you still get the same sweetness, the oud plays a more of a supporting role. So does the frankincense and myrrh, but I get way more sandalwood coming off of her skin. The aromatics from the peony and the jasmine pop off more on my mom's skin compared to mine. What I love about it is that the rose is continuous throughout the entire fragrance. It definitely gets softer, but this is one of those rose fragrances that even if you don't like rose, I highly suggest you getting yourself a sample, you trying this out, because it's not just a normal rose fragrance. It is very masculine. It is also very feminine, but in the best type of way. It is a complete balance between masculine and feminine, where there's a lot of unisex fragrances, rose fragrances, that lean more feminine or more masculine. This is a perfect balance. It's rugged and delicate. It's yin and yang. Now, is the rose in it super unique? No, rose has been done so many times. It's unique in the way that if you don't like rose fragrances, I really think you might like this one. This is a very sophisticated, elegant, masculine, and confident rose fragrance. Performance-wise, man, when I say rose all day, yeah, it's all day. I got between 10 and 12 hours out of this. Projection-wise, I would say it's a moderate projector, but honestly, I walked into work the other day. I work with a 62-year-old stripper named David. <laughs> I'm not actually a stripper, I promise. But once we hit a thousand subscribers, if y'all want, I will do a live Q&A and I'll spill some of the beans or maybe all of them. But I love getting to know you. So don't forget to comment down below because I enjoy getting to know you. Let me know, uh, have you tried Signature Rosé? Do you like rose fragrances? Yeah, let me know. Let's talk. I'm sitting in the room by myself the other day and David walks in. He's like, hey man. And look, David is real country from like deep South Alabama. And this is exactly what he sounds like. Hey man, what's that you were wearing? I'm like, that's Sahara signature rosé. He's like, oh man, you know what? Uh, Man, that smells really good. I, I smelled you before I walked in the room. And I was like, well, rosé all day, baby. He goes, man, that just smells really good. I was like, does it smell like roses? He goes, man, it just smells like really nice bouquet of flowers. Like, yeah, it is. It's a beautiful bouquet of flowers. The rose isn't something that hasn't been done before, but the way that it's blended makes it very unique because how it's the perfect balance of masculine and feminine. So my overall, what do I actually think about this fragrance? Roses are red, violets are blue. George possibly made the perfect rose fragrance for you. Definitely go get yourselves a sample, guys. Request a sample. I'll leave in the description below where you can possibly request samples of this. I'm not sure if they're doing that, but I'll also leave a link to where you can pick up rosé. I don't say blind buy anything, but if you can get yourself a sample, definitely check it out, especially for you guys who don't like rose fragrances. I think this might just be the rose fragrance you're looking for. So that's it, guys. That is my review of the new Zaharoff Signature Rosé. It's an incredible fragrance, incredible. He's done it again. And I, I, hats off to you, George Zahara, hats off to you. Keep doing what you're doing. Also, let me know if you have tried the rosé, if you like the rosé, if you don't like it, or if you're interested in picking it up. So that's it for me this evening. I hope you and your loved ones have an awesome, phenomenal night. And if you enjoyed today's episode, if you will, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, you're stinking beautiful. And until next time, happy scent trails. Mm -hmm.